What is up, people of the internet? My name is Felan Zyber, and welcome back to another season of Death Battle! This is, good. This is gonna be, um, Battle of the Short <laughs> Masters. Yoda from Star Wars versus King Mickey from, well, Disney and, in this case, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts Mickey. So before we begin, please, 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 please watch the original episode on the Rooster Teeth website before coming to my reaction or to anybody else's reactions. Go support the team that's been making the series awesome. So we are back for another season, another season, and this one is going to be a bit an interesting one. Um, excuse me, my allergies came back. Um, it's going to be difficult because on one hand, I, I mean, I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. I, I, I'm also a fan of Star Wars, just not to like like really much like like when like uh like like that much but if i were to like compare both both um yoda and king mickey i think yoda may have the better advantage and i'm only talking about in terms of like skills and strength i'm not talking about like corporate stuff because technically king because te technically mickey owns yoda <laughs> so yeah so yeah, technically, 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 Yoda has been ha has more fighting skills. Literally, he's like nine hundred years old, but like nine hundred years old in the in uh, in the Star Wars universe. Whereas King Mickey, if they were to implement the cartoon physics to it, he's only about ninety two. So, but let's just see the um, but let's just see the uh they have so let's just get this so let's just get this started okay so we are on to the uh, first episode of season eight i think yeah yeah it says it on the uh, url season eight so yoda versus king mickey the description reads the force duels the light as two pint-sized grandmasters go head to head so let's just do this and i said i tweeted that if i lose this one uh i'm gonna do this i still have it so I'm um, hopefully I'll be right with this prediction. So let it begin in three, two, one. And you can see my like mouse cursor right here. <laughs> but that doesn't indicate anything. Go. Yoda, the legendary Jedi Master of Star Wars fame. And King Mickey, His Highness of Disney Castle from Kingdom Hearts. These two have proven time and time again that size matters not. But let's see which of these tiny titans can swing their way to victory Woo! in a one-on-one -on -one duel. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ooh, 3D animation. Uh, 10 years, nice. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a Jedi there was. Master he is. Yoda, his name. You're not going to keep doing that, are you? Yes. Tell me what to do. You cannot. <laughs> okay. The mysterious Grand Master Yoda devoted his life to the ways of the Force and to leading the uh, Jedi Order, oh, yeah. a group of noble peacekeepers. I haven't they really took seen the last, a episode, of last season the of Star Wars. Don't be fooled by all that talk of peace, though. They're like superhuman samurai. But I have Jedi seen Mandalorian. Jedi consistently take on hordes of baddies by themselves, and they've been doing it for centuries, way before the start of the Galactic Republic. Mm -hmm. At which point, the Jedi became much more more entangled in, let's just say, government affairs. Yeah. For sure, that's what the space wizards were missing. Politics. <laughs> the Jedi Politics. Council began weighing in on various matters I to remember both this protect anime democracy series. and avoid series. violent conflicts. Except they kind of screwed the Porg on that front. The Clone Wars wasn't just a fantastic series by George Lucas and Dave Filoni, it was also an awesome miniseries by Gandhi Tartakovsky. Yep. And it was a horrific war that wiped out the Jedi, erased the Republic, and saw the rise of the Empire. Yeah. Sure, that too. Spoilers, man. <laughs> As the Jedi Grand Master, Yoda led the Grand Army of the see? Republic, a military force almost entirely 20, comprised of uh, clones, barely 30 pounds. AKA disposable people. Man, that yep. gets really messed up if you think about it too long. Yep. So I won't. Despite his small, exactly. frail appearance, Yoda could absolutely hold his own in combat. Exactly. In fact, he's considered one of the most powerful Jedi of his era. He's trained all the greats like Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, and even Liam Neeson. 
Where do you think you got that particular <laughs> set of skills from? All of Yoda's 900 of years of experience certainly came in handy, like when he battled Count Dooku and Darth Sidious, two of the most powerful Sith Lords ever known. Both Jedi and Sith usually come with the standard issue lightsaber, yeah, pretty a much. badass weapon for a more badass age. They're pretty versatile too, with seven different forms of combat styles. And don't think Yoda's gonna miss out on all that laser sword swinging. He's mastered all seven styles, even though he's only two feet high. <laughs> Hell, most lightsabers are taller than he is. Yeah, Which true. is why he specializes <laughs> in the fourth form, a taru. This style focuses on utilizing the force to increase a Jedi's capabilities, allowing the them force. to attack at blurring speeds with incredible precision. Basically, if we learn anything with uh, around like a ninja frog. Obi Wan Kenobi with Wait, versus is he actually Kermit? This does still mean Yoda has a sort of handicap in physical combat, as his stature requires him to use the Force far more mm, than most opponents okay. just to keep up. While the Force is beyond the body and seemingly infinite, too much effort all at once can put a strain on a person and even kill them. Ew. However, Yoda is truly a master of the 900 Force, 900 years experience. Potentially more so than any other Jedi. He has moved starships with his mind and lifted hundreds of droids at once. I'm sorry, can Mickey, but what can you do? Tricks, illusions, and a technique called two to minus. That's when Jedi block your minus. catch and redirect energy, like lightning, blaster bolts, or even other lightsabers. It's safe to say that Yoda greatly prefers using the Force in combat over his Jedi weapon. Wiz, if I ever get one of those laser swords and toss it away, you totally have permission to kill me. Interesting. <laughs> Dummy, well, just let me see your hand. My hand? Ow. Oh. Okay, now place your finger there. Um, <laughs> no? Jeez, Marshall would never make me do something like this. Marshall? Who's Marshall? Huh? Oh, the DBX Ringmaster guy. Oh, That's hey. his real name. We were roommates in college. He's helping me track down my dad because he's my best bud. Oh, best bud, huh? Ooh. What the hell was that? You just sold I, your soul. I won't be the only one. Wait, what just happened? You just sold your anyway, soul. <laughs> the Force is capable of much more than a lightsaber. Kip Duron, a Jedi whose potential has been compared to Yoda, utilized it to move a gravity well generated void, basically a black hole created by a ship, to strike the right balance of pressure in order to move a singularity. Black hole? Theoretically, you would need to exert an energy output equivalent to almost 14 petatons of TNT. Jedi are also super So 12 fast. zeros they is petatons. blaster bolts, of course, but they can also keep up with droid tri fighters and magna guards, which both are clearly stated to have near light speed 15. reflexes. Holy crap, who's building these things? Whatever. Furthermore, Jedi figures, can use the Force figures. to glimpse into the distant future through meditation. They can even allow the Force to guide their movements and predict danger push, push, in advance. Push, 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 Needless push, push, push. to say, all of these incredible feats would be impossible without the Force. Mm. But with powers like that and a dash of political meddling, it was only a matter of time before these peacekeepers became soldiers. Even generals! In a surprising move, Yoda actually chose to engage the rising Separatist threat with an army of his own, personally kicking off the Clone Wars himself. Yeah. Too bad it was, as the Fishman says, a it trap. Was, the it war was a trap! The a sour turn, and the demise of the Jedi became all but oh, a not the younglings. By the time they put the pieces together, it was too late. The Order fell into darkness. More like brutally murdered into darkness. And you know, it's kind of their fault in a way. They were so committed to talking about peace, but at the same time, they're like really, really good at killing people. Why do peacekeepers need to be so specifically trained in murder? <laughs> so uncivilized. Ooh. Well, get over yourself. If you had a lightsaber, you'd want to use it as much as you could too. Yeah, here. Though the Jedi Order under Yoda did seem somewhat hypocritical, he would come to realize his follies. Mm. Like the Council's sanctimonious excuses for betraying students like Ahsoka when they were needed most. Yeah. They ripped out our sweet Padawan red tail, you assholes! But yeah, he finally figured out wars not make one great. Especially if you're a tiny green muppet. Haunted by <laughs> tiny his green mistakes muppet. and perturbed by the violence he helped bring upon the galaxy, Yoda went into self-imposed exile. He even gave up his lightsaber. And finally, he would train one last apprentice, Luke Skywalker. Yep. Yoda taught Luke everything he could before finally becoming one with the Force, gaining immortality as a spooky blue spirit, <laughs> just like Obi-Wan and Lee Mason. <laughs> and Luke? He went on to reverse many of the mistakes of Jedi's past, ending the Empire, Blowing up the Death redeeming Star his father, twice. bringing balance to the Force, and inspiring a new, different generation. In the end, and that Yoda's are, greatest lesson of all that was people that are oftentimes like, failure about. is our greatest teacher. I don't believe it. That is why you fail. That is why you fail. 
Yeah, the people are kind of mad about the new Star Wars Mickey movies. Mickey Mouse, Disney's OG OC. You know him as a cute corporate mascot that corporate hangs out mascot. with other cute animals and lives corporate a mascot. pretty normal domestic life. Yeah. But did you know he's also an insanely powerful warrior mage that I mean, they fights could darkness implement to that. save the Disney universe alongside because a young boy and his good old duck and dog buddies. Because technically the, uh, no, not him not being, the other one. doing yes, that is can the world canonical of Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts lore. A collection of worlds where Fantasia, Kingdom there. Hearts is the heart of the worlds and the source of ultimate wisdom and power across all kingdoms and worlds. You know, my favorite thing about Kingdom Hearts is how straightforward it is. Yeah. My favorite part is how it's ruled by that 92-year-old mouse wizard. Yep. Here he isn't just Mickey, he's King Mickey, the King. ruler of Disney Castle and the leader of the Guardians of Light, a group of key Michael Theodore Mouse? Really? Darkness. King I mean, Mickey Michael, and the I other mean, guardians, I, I, like Sora, I, remember him? Protect I mean, Michael, the world yeah, using but magic Theodore? and powerful weapons known as Keyblades. Those things Jensen. are the real deal. They can perform a whole bunch of spells, deflect lasers, and even unlock almost anything. So they're going to implement could, all forms keys. of, Mickey like, swung a lot of keys uh, around, Kingdom but Hearts current mechanics is his to star cluster. giving the it to King Mickey, like, all sorts of magic abilities, I'm guessing. The King underwent rigorous training as an apprentice to the guessing. great sorcerer, Yen Sid. After some incidents involving a few too many brooms, he eventually he's a this became a sorcerer and keyblade um, master Kingdom himself. Lore. Keyblades are basically like wands that can channel the user's magic for spells like Pearl, Mind Shield, and Faith Volley, which are all based on light energy magic. He can also heal himself and others with Kiraga and Healing Light. Yeah. And that's honestly still just the tip of the iceberg. Okay. With the stops a spell, he can freeze time for the length of an entire battle. Damn. Then there's Mickey's most that powerful and most an legendary advantage. spell, Ultima, which is basically a massive, devastating release of all of Mickey's light magic at once. Oh. The only downside is these spells do require a lot of magic energy to use, which yeah. is also limited to Mickey's own energy. Also, he does need the Keyblade to channel it. There's not much the mouse can do without his Keyblade, yeah, except for be a cute and cuddly mascot. Well, even if he Shum -shum. does lose it, Mickey can immediately summon the Keyblade back to his yeah. hand. Whoa! Let me try! <laughs> Boomstick, if you really want another beer, just go get one. Oh my god, it worked! No, it was just me. <laughs> well, Keyblades can also be used to lock worlds and doors in order to keep out Heartless, yep. which are corrupted beings split from the darkness oh, of yeah, a remember when heart with Sora a desire stabbed to himself? <laughs> Wait a second, Wiz! Pluto is a dog, but so is Goofy! But Goofy gets to walk around and fight with Sora and Donald, and Pluto just eats and sleeps like a normal dog. This must mean that Pluto is Goofy's heartless. Do you have a concussion? Oh, always. Uh. On top of all of his advanced magic, Mickey's mega tough. When heartless stack up, they can form a huge mass and take the shape of a giant twister called a demon tower. Mm -hmm. And Mickey's tanked a couple beatings from him. He's also survived this huge explosion from when the Keyblade was destroyed. Yeah, he means the X-Blade. It's just pronounced like Keyblade, even yeah. though it's just one Keyblade. It, it, ah, the series is so confusing. Yeah. Most Keyblades are capable of equally incredible feats. Sora could slice through several buildings with his Keyblade, and Mickey's rescued him on more than one occasion. Which makes sense. He's the leader, after all, and can match any of them in power. Mm -hmm. But Sora's no joke. He went up against Hercules, a demigod that launched a 1,600-ton rock titan into space. But that's nothing compared to his dad, Zeus. That guy can move stars, and not even he can compete with the foes that Mickey's tangling with. The Guardians of Light and their Keyblades are immensely strong, but they also have great speed to match. Mm -hmm. Roxas's heart was able to move far above the speed of light in order to travel across galaxies, from the Radiant Garden back to the Keyblade Graveyard in a matter of seconds. What? And like any great ruler, yeah, okay, Mickey's but... also remained a constant pillar of hope for all, even during some of the darkest times. Oh, and remember when Mickey was a badass friends, in this? The king was able to bring the darkness to an end and stop Xehanort, a Keyblade master hell-bent on getting the power of Kingdom Hearts. Mm. While Sora battled Xehanort, Mickey and the rest of the Guardians finally closed Kingdom Hearts for good, preventing the power from falling into the wrong hands. I guess sneeze coming on. mouse had it all figured out. The real key to saving the world is your friends. If each one of them also has a super powerful magic sword, that's also a key. Despite his long journey, ah. King Mickey never wavered and led the way with his optimism, perseverance, and most important of all, the light inside. Yep. Now, Sora, let's close this door for good. Don't worry, there will always be a door to the light. Okay, so... I think we kind of, I think we all kind of know who would win this one.
yeah, Mickey does own Yoda, technically, but in the sense of, like, battle and skills. And I think Yoda is going to win this one. And besides, if you think about it, Kingdom Hearts Mickey hasn't been a lo around that long. Uh, sure, um, sure, almost 20 years since the first game, but still, still, the if you want to, like, count the, the, the episodes 4 through 6 as the first time, like, like the first we see Yoda, but if you want to go into timeline sense, episodes one through um, six, the Clone Wars series, the comics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, I think we all know that Yoda would win this one. I'm sorry, I bet my sneeze is just like bugging me. So I think we're gonna go for Yoda, and I'm gonna go for Yoda in this one. I think it. I think it's a no contest. I'm sorry, King D Mickey. I know I said King Mickey. I'm sorry, Mickey. I love you. Kingdom Hearts is my favorite, one of my favorite franchises of all time, but I'm gonna have to go with Yoda on this one. I'm sorry, Mickey. Don't, please, <laughs> please don't whack me with your Keyblade. So we're going for Yoda. Three, two, one. And <laughs> my cursor's like not helping. Go. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's, it's time for a death battle! battle! Oh, this is gonna be good. 3D animation. Oh, that's cool. Mickey's Mickey's dive to the heart, or whatever it was called. Difficult to find. You are a king. You must be. And to challenge me, you must be. A master. Oh, that that's pretty good Mickey um voice right there. Whoever whoever's voicing these guys. Fight! Ooh, love the music the music though. Like the chorus. Same thing for Yoda. Nose kind of like are, bent down a little. Size matters not. <laughs> right back <laughs> hot dog. Did you just say hot dog? Really? Well, it's it's Mickey's catchphrase. Of course he would say it. So I ain't complaining. Woo! You just beat him with a stick. <laughs> you beat him with a stick, man. Path to victory. This is not the force I must trust. Ooh, okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> you sure are strong, but it's time to end this tussle. Oh. Oh, this is the uh, this is from Remind. Did I mess myself up? The power of the force. I just screwed myself, didn't I? I can try. All I need is the light. Did I just screw myself? Wait. Do. Or do not. There is no try. <laughs> like the biggest meme out there. Pretty good music, though. Hmm. No what way. Shame. Oh. Worry, do not. One with the force, I am. <laughs> No way! <laughs> Laugh it up, Fuzzball! Are you kidding me? That That's little new. green rascal, a troll to the bitter end. Are you kidding me? The Grand Master Yoda was one of the most powerful Jedi of all time. 
but the Force was ultimately no match for the light. What? He's got to be one of the best sword fighters Mickey's ever faced and definitely gave him a run for his money. While Jedi have battled foes with near light speed reactions, a Keyblade Guardian like Mickey could move several times faster. In order for Roxas to travel across at least four star systems, he'd need to be moving almost 170 million times faster than light. They've also rubbed shoulders with guys like Hercules and Zeus, who moved whole stars. There are hundreds of celestial bodies there. The energy needed to move that many is way more than what would be needed to move a black hole. And while the Yoda doesn't have much of an for... obvious weakness himself, the problem is neither does King Mickey. At least nothing that Yoda could really take advantage of. Even if Yoda could figure out that King Mickey had a limited amount of magic energy to cast spells with, there wasn't much Yoda could do before it would start to replenish. And the Force isn't exactly limitless either. Too oh. much strain has been proven to put a lot of stress on the body and even kill some Jedi in the past. These two were certainly a match for each other in many ways, but the King's superior speed, power, and magic meant he had the last laugh. Well, sort of. Sorry, Yoda, but M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U are dead. The winner is King Mickey. Are you kidding me? The one time I should have voted for a character that I- watching. Stay tuned. We'll be jumping into the next matchup next week. But you can always get more Death Battle right now by clicking one of those boxes right over there. Oh! And by downloading the battle music linked in the description. Okay. Okay, Shadow. Oh! Are you? Wait. Ruk Ryuko. There he goes. Are you kidding me? The one time I should have voted for- I promise you that. So, so, say goodbye. So, bye. I'm going to die now. Okay, okay, guys. Since I lost the death battle, and I said on Twitter that I would eat this if I lose, so that's what I'm gonna do. And this is only a one-time thing. I should probably have gotten gloves or something. Uh, let me get like a. <laughs> okay, like, like this. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, the thing is broken. Can you do not? Okay. Let's just do it like one piece at a time. <laughs> okay. Bye guys, I'm leaving all my early possessions to my mother and my stepfather right there. And they better not get rid of my dogs. Okay, let's just do this quick.
guys so much for watching. Let me know if you thought of your the death battle in the comments section down below. If that the, if you liked the video and you enjoyed it, go ahead and click the subscribe button. <laughs> also hit the bell button to be notified by these reactions. And follow me on Twitter for at Freelance Amber for pretty much the same thing. Oh my god, it's burns. Or just random shit in general. So remember to stay awesome. Be nice animals. Don't be dicks. Keep moving forward. And I will see you all if I live in the next video. Bye.